Hey, what's going on traders? I was not recording for these. We're just going to go over these real quick. Spotify and WMG uh, decided to pop up. I was actually uh, just trying to get some food in me after I really couldn't nap, uh, just trying to get rid of whatever this is. Um, but as you can see, Spotify decided to make a nice little pop. Um, we decided to kind of wait for the backside, not really knowing what we were getting into. Didn't check the news, didn't check anything. Uh, just saw that um, some of the fellow ISW guys were messing with it. So um, as it started to come back down, jumped in, looking for the backside, kind of capitalized on that. We only took, I think, 10 shares on this. Yeah, so it wasn't anything big. Um, at the same time, WMG was moving, and um, this one kind of took us for a ride. <clears throat> um, I actually saw it make this first move uh, here. Um, I wasn't really a fan of it, uh, and then it started kind of grinding away. And uh, it kind of popped pretty fast here. Um, through 25 and decided to start it here. It worked pretty temporarily. I uh, went all the way back down to 24.95. Um, was really looking for the bigger move back down towards previous resistance because I only took 50 shares, um, figuring uh, we could get a little bit more out of it. Um, Should have stuck with my usual trade of uh, just because I took smaller size, I shouldn't have expected more. Uh, I should have you know, my trade is get in that 20, 30 cents above and look for the retest of that previous whole dollar, half dollar. And that's exactly what it did. And then as you can see, we ended up getting caught in a little something. So as this goes up, it actually, um, I hit for 50 more shares here above the half dollar, but it only filled us 10 shares um, at 58. And then it spiked down 10 cents and filled us the other 40 or 48. So it's kind of a crap fill uh, considering we were only at that point in the trade. Um, after the fact, obviously this it was pretty minute, but um, a one one to start, uh, hit it for another one here up towards 26. It was really struggling. I actually hit it before it went through 26, looked like it wasn't gonna get through. So 150 shares at this point with an average somewhere around here, like 2560. Um, my goal there with that ad was to get back above 2550 with an average and uh, just see what it did from there. <clears throat> so uh, it started to climb a little bit higher, looked like it was struggling. At that 26.20, again, um, we we end up hitting it for another 100, giving us 250. Pulls our average up to somewhere around here, I think. It might even have been a little higher. Um, but right after we hit the button, uh, this thing decided to spike up to 26.60. And as it was on its way back down, I thought, okay, that was a pretty good spike on some volume. Uh, that was probably the top. I'm going to go ahead and add another 100 there. Uh, which ended up giving us, oh, so I only added 50 to get to 200. So it was a one, 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 and then a two. Uh, so I hit this one to get the 300, thinking that's going to be the top. That brings our average up even a, a little bit more. <clears throat> and um, I was feeling pretty good about the trade at this point. So we've got a decent size. Um, we're a, a decent amount above that half dollar. All we got to do is get down through the whole dollar and start making any kind of an actual pullback. Well, when you know it, uh, it comes down test 26. Um, I was pretty excited about that. Just waiting for it to bust through, never get it. And then it just decides to rocket ship back up. <laughs> so as uh, we're moving up here at this point, I'm starting to look at the haul price and it was up at like high 27s, low 28s. And I was like, uh oh. So basically uh, I let it make this move. Um, Could have, it did jiggle a little bit above uh, 2650. Um, but I was really waiting for it to like show that we were going to at least try to go back down. Um, it went all the way up to 27.29. And as it started to come back down, that's when we hit it for another 300 at 26.90. And that brought our average up to around here. Um, at this point, I'm like, okay, um, we got 600 shares. Uh, average is okay. Still haven't had any kind of a real pullback. Um, I'd still like uh, to get another ad if possible. Um, to get our average up above that 2650 because uh the closer we can get to high a day the better obviously but at this point at the highs we were down like 550 dollars or something like that one 600 shares so um all this thing had to do uh was make a push up towards uh like 28 and we we're we we're pretty much toast a thousand dollar max loss i uh, wouldn't have took took too long to get there um so we basically were we were waiting uh, to see what it wanted to do. Um, nice little doji candle here. And then we started to come back down. And I saw that 2680 uh, was the bottom of this candle. So I told myself, once we get the break of that, I'm going to go ahead and hit it. Um, and I saw it. Uh, it tried to go back up a few times. Um, and this time it went all the way up to 2722. 
And as it came back down, I saw it coming down pretty quickly. Uh, so we hit it uh, preemptively, assuming it was going to break that 2680, uh, get in at 87 for another 600 shares, giving us 1200 total. And sure enough, we do break down through there. I immediately put a thousand shares. Uh, this, by the way, brought our average up to about 65, I think it was. Immediately put a thousand shares out at 57. Um, we get filled those. And I thought I put a hundred at 35, um, but it actually spiked down to 20 as we were putting these orders out. Um, we didn't get the fill. It started to come back up. And I thought I had an order at uh, for a hundred shares there. And then I had 50 and 50 lower. And so I dragged that order up as it was coming back up through 50 because I didn't want to let it go all the way back up. And um, as I started moving my orders for 50 shares and 50 shares, I look over and saw that I had no shares left. Um, so I guess when I thought I scroll wheeled like this, um, I guess maybe I didn't. And I left 200 in there instead of uh, going down to 100. And uh, so kind of a fat finger, or just not paying attention on my part, um, because an extra 100 shares uh, anywhere down in here. Uh, would have added a decent amount to this. So um, still a pretty good trade. Um, it's kind of going sideways now, uh, but definitely would have had uh, at least another 50 near the whole dollar and then the other 50 down here towards view app, uh, which would have probably added at least another 50 bucks. So pretty frustrating, but it is what it is. Sometimes it's going to happen. Um, just thankful to get out of that one alive and make a decent, a little decent amount of money on it. So that's all I got. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I always appreciate the support. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave this down below. Uh, you can find me on Discord or on Twitter. Those links are down below. And I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I'm feeling better. Peace.